Anthropics Claude has introduced a new feature called Learning Mode, and it's changing how people engage with information. Instead of directly answering questions, Claude guides users through structured reasoning. It asks follow-up questions, challenges assumptions, and prompts reflection. This approach is already being tested in real-world academic environments, and it's starting to turn heads. While many AI tools are being criticized for encouraging shortcuts and promoting academic dishonesty, Claude flips that narrative. It's not built to do the thinking for you. It's designed to teach you how to think better. And it's not just in beta. Major institutions like Northeastern University, the London School of Economics, and Champlain College are already deploying Claude in classrooms and admin workflows. Let's look at what makes learning mode different and why it matters now. Claude's learning mode explain. Claude's learning mode is built around Socratic questioning, an age-old method that challenges learners to explain, justify, and refine their own thinking. Instead of providing direct responses, Claude replies with prompts like, what do you think is the first step here? Or can you explain why you chose that answer? The point isn't efficiency, it's depth. While traditional generative AI tools like ChatGPT or Gemini prioritize output, Claude's model prioritizes engagement. You don't get a finished essay or a quick math solution. You get a back and forth that simulates a tutor guiding you through a problem. This format aligns with research on active recall and metacognition, which shows that struggling with information improves retention and comprehension. Claude pushes users into that productive struggle, asking questions that build mental flexibility rather than just delivering answers. It's a shift from AI as a homework engine to AI as a thinking partner. Real college partnerships. Claude's learning mode isn't just theoretical, it's already being integrated into academic systems. Northeastern University, for example, has partnered with Anthropic to roll out Claude across all 13 of its campuses, impacting over 50,000 students and staff. Claude is being used in multiple areas, helping students with assignment structure, supporting faculty with research prompts, and even aiding administrators with enrollment data analysis. Other institutions like the London School of Economics and Champlain College are experimenting with Claude to enhance critical thinking in student work. Instead of replacing instruction, Claude supplements it, helping learners frame ideas, test logic, and explore alternate perspectives. Importantly, Claude doesn't store personal data or generate ready-made answers. It's designed to refuse unethical prompts, such as write my essay or solve this test. This is part of why educators are more comfortable adopting it compared to other AI tools. In these pilot programs, faculty members have reported that students using Claude arrive in class better prepared, with more focused questions and clearer arguments. It's not just improving how students learn, it's changing how they approach learning entirely. Why most AI learning tools have failed students. Over the last year, AI has flooded classrooms. Tools like ChatGPT and BARD have been used to write essays, solve problems, and even take online tests. But this has raised major concerns around learning integrity. A 2023 survey by Intelligent.com showed that 30% of U.S. college students admitted to using AI to complete work they didn't fully understand. That's led many institutions to tighten their academic integrity policies, often banning generative AI tools outright. The problem? Most AI tools are optimized for output, not learning. They're designed to be helpful, but not necessarily educational. Claude's learning mode was built to avoid this trap. Its design is intentionally restrictive, avoiding direct answers and refusing tasks that undermine learning. If a student asks Claude to write an essay, it won't. Instead, it will help outline ideas, pose clarifying questions, or guide research direction. This behavior isn't just a content filter. It's part of Anthropic's broader constitutional AI framework, which builds ethical boundaries directly into the model's reasoning. That means Claude can help, but only in ways that preserve learning integrity. It's a very different experience from typical generative AI, and that's exactly the point. The psychology behind Claude's approach. Claude's learning mode isn't just a novel interface choice. It's rooted in cognitive science and educational theory. Research consistently shows that active learning, especially through retrieval practice and Socratic dialogue, enhances long-term retention and deep understanding. 
In a classroom context, this typically happens through open-ended questioning, reflective writing, or peer debate. Claude replicates this using AI, prompting users to explain their reasoning, challenge their assumptions, and explore multiple perspectives. For example, when a user types a question like, what caused the 2008 financial crisis? Claude doesn't deliver a textbook summary. Instead, it might respond with, what factors have you already considered? Or which economic indicators do you think played a role? The interaction mimics a tutor guiding a student through layered reasoning, not just handing over information. This method taps into metacognition, the ability to reflect on your own thinking. Students begin to recognize gaps in their logic, biases in interpretation, or missing data points. Over time, this builds critical thinking, a skill increasingly in demand across education, business, and public discourse. Another key concept is productive struggle, the idea that effort and challenge during learning actually improve outcomes. Claude's prompts are designed to keep users in that zone. It's not frustratingly vague, but it doesn't simplify complex topics either. By combining these elements into an AI framework, Claude offers something distinct. It doesn't just teach facts, it encourages users to build their own understanding. That shift in approach has implications far beyond the classroom. This isn't just for students, it's for everyone. Although Claude's learning mode is currently being piloted in academic institutions, its potential use cases extend far wider. In corporate training and upskilling, where traditional e-learning platforms often rely on static modules, Claude offers something more interactive. It can help professionals think through business challenges, structure persuasive arguments, or break down technical concepts. For instance, someone learning data analysis could use Claude to test their assumptions, not just get definitions. This adaptability is key for lifelong learners. People outside formal education whether freelancers, entrepreneurs, or hobbyists, can use Claude to deepen their skills. Because learning mode doesn't require structured curricula, it can function as a responsive coach for self-directed learning. Even educators themselves are using Claude to refine their teaching. Some university faculty have used it to design more reflective assignments, simulate student feedback, or explore new framing for course content. In this way, Claude becomes not just a learning companion for students, but a thinking tool for the people who teach them. The model also extends to non-academic contexts. For example, journalists working on story framing, policy analysts evaluating trade-offs, or nonprofit workers planning outreach strategies, all can use Claude to test their reasoning, map assumptions, and clarify intent. What sets Claude apart in these scenarios is its refusal to act like an answer engine. Instead, it prompts dialogue. That structure makes it uniquely flexible offering guidance without becoming a crutch. And as generative AI expands into more sectors, tools that support independent reasoning rather than replace it may become more essential. How Claude stays safer and more aligned. As more institutions consider deploying AI tools, concerns around safety, misuse, and alignment are becoming central. Claude was developed using a framework called Constitutional AI which differs from the standard reinforcement learning approach used by many other models. Instead of training the model through human reward signals, Anthropic wrote a constitution, a set of clear interpretable principles the model uses to judge its own outputs. These principles include values like do not help with academic cheating, encourage curiosity and open-mindedness, and avoid harmful or biased responses. The model is trained to align with these values consistently meaning it can self-regulate and refuse certain types of requests, even in ambiguous contexts. In education, this translates to strict boundaries. Claude's learning mode is designed to refuse to write essays, complete homework, or generate responses that can be submitted as is for academic credit. If a student tries to shortcut the process, Claude redirects them back into constructive dialogue, asking questions, guiding brainstorming, or pointing to research methods. Anthropic also avoids logging user queries for model training, reducing concerns around student privacy. Sessions are ephemeral, and institutions retain control over how the model is accessed and integrated. These design choices reflect a broader trend toward AI alignment. The idea that models should behave predictably and ethically, even when operating autonomously. 
Claude's architecture prioritizes interpretability and transparency, both of which are increasingly valued in enterprise and education environments alike. The net result Claude may be one of the few AI tools currently on the market that is built to protect the learning process rather than disrupt it, and that's contributing to its growing credibility in academic settings. A glimpse at the future of AI-driven learning. As of early 2024, AI adoption in education is accelerating. A report by Educause shows that nearly 60% of higher education institutions in the U.S. are either piloting or actively integrating AI into their operations. But most of that adoption has focused on automation, chat-based student support, and content delivery, not critical thinking. Claude's learning mode introduces a different trajectory. Rather than automate instruction, it facilitates intellectual development. That's not just a technical innovation, it's a pedagogical shift. If models like Claude continue to evolve, we may see broader adoption in K-12 education, where structured questioning could reinforce early reasoning skills. In workplace learning, learning mode could reshape how companies train employees, not by giving them information, but by helping them think through problems independently. And in public education, where teacher shortages and large class sizes limit personalized attention, Claude could become a supplemental tool to support inquiry-based learning at scale. That said, these changes come with challenges. Implementing AI ethically requires clear guardrails, transparent evaluation methods, and thoughtful integration into curriculum. Tools like Claude are only as useful as the frameworks around them. Still, the broader takeaway is clear. Claude is not about teaching faster. It's about teaching deeper. And in an age where information is everywhere, but understanding is rare, that distinction might matter more than ever. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.